In this lesson, you will learn how to solve problems with metric units. Measurements can be added or subtracted just like numbers can. The one thing you need to keep in mind, though, is that the measurements you're working with all have to be in the same units before you can perform any operations like addition or subtraction. So always remember to pay attention to the units in the problem because they need to be the same units. Now what this means is given the problem, you might need to make some conversions between different metric units. So let's solve a few problems so that you can really understand this concept. All right, here's a problem involving length. Joel is making a poster. He has a chart that is 20 centimeters long. All right, so let's highlight that. It's 20 centimeters long. Then he adds a strip of paper to the chart, which is 30 millimeters in length. What we want to know is what is the total length of the poster? Let's notice a few things about this word problem, right? First, we have one measurement, 20 centimeters. The next measurement we have is 30 millimeters. Now millimeters and centimeters, we don't have the same units. And in order for us to find the total length, we need to convert millimeters into centimeters. Now this problem doesn't specify what it wants the units in, right, for your answer. Sometimes it'll say, give us the answer in centimeters or give me the answer in millimeters. And then you'd make some purposeful decisions about which number to to convert. But let's just say we want to know what is the total length in centimeters of this poster. So we need to convert millimeters to centimeters. Now there are 10 millimeters in every one centimeter. So that means our conversion factor here is 10. And since we're going to be converting millimeter to centimeter, this is a smaller unit being converted to a larger unit so when we convert smaller to larger, we use division. So we have 30 millimeters, and we're going to divide by the conversion factor, which is 10. And this is going to give us the length of the strip of paper in centimeters. So 30 divided by 10 is 3. So the strip that Joel added to the chart is 3 centimeters in length. So now what we can do is add to find the total length of the poster altogether. The chart is 20 centimeters. He adds a strip of paper, which is 3 centimeters. And 20 plus 3 equals 23. So that means the length of Joel's poster is 23 centimeters. Let's try another problem together. In this problem, we're going to be talking about volume or capacity. A water tank holds 250 liters of water. It is filled up to the 210 liter mark. How much more water can the tank hold? Now I want to draw your attention to a few things. You can't perform operations with measurements unless the measurements are in the same units. So let's take a look at the units. The first measurement is 250 and it's given in liters. The second measurement is 210 and that's also given in liters. So unlike the first problem, we don't have to do any conversions here because both of the measurements are in the same units. So if we want to find how much more water the tank can hold, we're going to use subtraction. So the tank can hold a total of 250 liters. It's only filled up to the 210 liter mark, so we would subtract these two numbers to find the difference or how much space is left in the tank. So let's just do this uh, vertically over here. So 250 minus 210. 0 minus 0 is 0. 5 minus 1 is 4. And 2 minus 2 is 0. So that means the difference of these two numbers is 40, which means the tank can hold 40 liters more than it currently is holding. In this lesson, you've learned how to solve problems using metric measurements. Now remember, if you're given two measurements in different units and you need to add or subtract those measurements, make sure that you convert one of the numbers into the other unit so that you're dealing with the same units. Now if you're given the numbers in the same unit, go ahead and add and subtract as you normally would, just like with numbers. Thanks for watching.